hey 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 welcome back to my channel and as you can see today i'm bringing to you three ways to make your breadcrumbs if you love your fries or even bacon you are going to need some breadcrumbs so without wasting much time let's just get started obviously you are going to need some bread and i must say i have this bread here this is my milk bread i use this in the morning i eat it with my warm milk but if you don't have this you can use your regular fresh bread but you have to leave it alone for about two days in order for it to you know harden up a little bit so with method one you are going to need a grater I'll just grate the bread to get the crumbs out of it. Depending on the kind of grater you use, you are going to get finer grains or thicker, bigger grains. So after grating, this is what we have here from the first method. Now let's get to the second method. With this, you are going to need a very clean napkin. I'll open it up, get my dried bread, and put it on it. I will then securely close it up. With the help of a rolling pin, I'll beat it up. I'll keep on mashing till I feel no lumps. Now with the help of a strainer, I will just strain the breadcrumbs. I will gather bigger chunks and mash it up again. I will continue doing this till I get the amount I need. So this is the second method. Finally, let's get to the third method. In this method, I'm going to need my blender. I'll break up the dry bread into the blender. And I'll just blend it up. And this is our third method. So as you can see, all these three methods are going to give you breadcrumbs. It depends on what you have and what you are capable of okay guys so this is it i hope you did enjoy this and i hope you are going to give this a try if you've not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up until next time i am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye